Hey, whatever, everybody. Steve Breach coming to you. I am on a quest to uh, currently watch all of my WB DVDs to bring some sort of uh, meaning uh, to knowing them all. I put up a DVD review on Action a few weeks ago because that was a really good DVD that I, I, I didn't really think it was that great uh, to begin with. And I watched uh, Allied Forces, the tag team DVD. Uh, that was uh, three discs of uh, nonsense. It was sort of like matches that were put in there for no reason at all. I think they should have put in more like... Uh, tag team titles matches and title changes and stuff like that. They sort of gave you some uh, quick little, I guess you can say, like biographies of, of wrestlers just sort of putting them over and then they wouldn't even show a match of some guys. So that really didn't make much uh, sense to me. I went to watch the Andre DVD and then when I noticed it didn't even have Andre versus Hogan, which is in my mind more than likely the, the biggest match he ever had. Uh, I just sort of skipped over that one. I'll go back to it later. Um, I just didn't feel like watched a whole bunch of old matches last night. Uh, but... I did watch Armageddon 2003, uh, which is a good show. Uh, a lot of people like to buy the 2003 DVDs when they start collecting DVDs because it has the side panel uh, that spells out 2003 and has all the, the cool pictures of the wrestlers on the side. Um, basically, this is a, a good show. It's not the start of Evolution, but it's the start of something big for Evolution. Um, this is the, the show at the end of the night when they, uh, they're all holding the titles up all high. They walk into the show not holding one title, and they walk out holding four, or I guess three, however you really look at it. Um, the show doesn't start off all that good. Uh, the opening match is Booker T against Mark Henry. Um, I, I don't think a whole lot of people expected a whole bunch from that match, but you got what you need. Uh, when they do it a whole bunch of these uh, Raw-only uh, pay-per-views, you get a lot of feuds or matches on pay-per-view that you wouldn't get to see any other time, which is, I guess it's good for the workers to get to be on pay-per-view, uh, because I doubt some guys weren't on pay-per-view all year. Um, but uh, it, it didn't it, it didn't help. <laughs> this match wasn't that good. All you do is you, uh, you just fast-forward to the Randy Orton uh, versus Rob Van Dam match. Uh, Mick Foley becomes a special guest referee in this, uh, and uh, Ric Flair is at, at ringside for for most of this. He, I think he gets ejected during the match, but then he comes back later. Uh, anyways, it, it was kind of weird, but anyways, this is where Orton wins the Intercontinental title and starts this big, huge feud uh, with Mick Foley. I think this is probably the second best match of the night. Um, really, really good. Uh, if anything, uh, there's two matches on here to buy it for. One of them is this match, and another match is the Shawn Michaels-Batista match, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. The whole intergender tag team match, the Battle of the Sexes, is on here. Jericho and Christian against Trish Stratus and Lita. Uh, this was all pointless. I think this just uh, was mainly to uh, further the storyline where uh, Christian and um, Jericho made a bet who could sleep with Lita or Jericho faster, and then they got uh, caught making the bet by, by Trish, and the girls turned on them, so they got put in this match, and then... After the match, uh, you know, Jericho and Trish hooked up to, to get the WrestleMania 20. Then you get the big heel turn from Trish Stratus where she slapped Jericho in the face. Uh, pretty good stuff. That led to the big heel run of Trish Stratus where, I don't know, she, she looked even hotter as a heel, I guess you can say. Uh, Stratus' uh, work as, as a wrestler was always great. Um, but I always thought that maybe when she was a heel, she was able to uh, showcase that a little bit better. Um, so the, the, it was the start of something good, but I don't know. It's six minutes of bull crap to me. Um, you know, the, the, uh, the guys get the win here. Uh, it was, uh, Christian, uh, rolls up Stratus for the win. Now to the match of the night, uh, you got Shawn Michaels versus Batista. Batista was pretty green at this time and they're just still trying to work him in. Uh, it is well known that he sort of went through developmental and didn't learn anything and learned everything in the main roster. And when you're wrestling a guy like Shawn Michaels, it's hard not to, uh, pick up what you're doing, I don't think. But, um, great match, uh, from these guys. Uh, Shawn Michaels squeaks out the win and after this, uh, uh, Batista's pissed. <laughs> he's big time pissed and he won't leave the ring. Uh, he's mad and he wants revenge. Uh, he, it's to the point where the next match uh, comes out to start. Uh, the next match is going to be Maven against Matt Hardy. Another match sort of like uh, Booker T and Mark Henry at the beginning that not a lot of people were, you know, they were all fired up for. Uh, more than likely people were going to run to the bathroom or they were going to go grab some uh, slice of pizza or some Cheez-Its or something like that. Um, uh, but all in all, uh, they they come down there and they see that uh, Batista's still in the ring. So they start fighting on the outside because their feud's big enough that they hate each other that bad. They're going to beat each other up even if they're not in a match. Um, Matt Hardy throws Maven into the ring and uh, Batista squashes him. <laughs> squashes him to the point where uh, he hits the powerbomb on him. 
And then um, they basically say, you know what, this match isn't going to happen. You know, Maven's in no shape to wrestle. Um, so uh, basically, uh, Flair finally gets um, Batista out of the ring. Matt Hardy slides up in there as they're trying to get Maven out of there. And he's all pissed that he's not going to be able to have a match, and his match got thrown out, and he's not named the winner of it. So he kicks everybody out of the way, does a big splash on Maven, counts his own three count, and now he is the winner. <laughs> All in all, it, it was it was pretty funny to see these guys get squashed uh, by Batista. Batista being all pumped up, it sort of um, was the, it was sort of the, the start of Batista. You know, it was uh, it was pretty freaking cool. After they finally clear the ring, uh, we go to what is the tag team turmoil match? The Dudley Boys come into this as the tag team champions, and they fight a whole bunch of freaking teams. They fight uh, Jindrak and Cade, Val Venus and Storm, Hurricane and Rosie. Uh, La Restance, who is a damn good tag team, and then Test and Scott Steiner. Um, basically, the Dudley Boys win this match, and then uh, Eric Bischoff comes out at the end um, to sort of, I guess you can say, congratulate them, but then also slap them in the face by saying that there's one more team that enters in, and we get Team Evolution, which is Batista and uh, Ric Flair. Um, they come out, they win the match. And so now this is the second title win uh, for Evolution of the Night. They, they, they now hold the tag titles. Um, after this, uh, we go to uh, uh, the Women's Championship match, Molly Holly versus Ivory. I don't know. Ivory looked pretty hot here for some reason. I, I've always uh, thought she was pretty attractive, uh, but the match is not that good. A lot of people think that Molly Holly is this great women's wrestler. I really don't, don't see it in her that much. I don't know. I just... Not a fan. Uh, then from there we go to uh, Triple H versus Goldberg versus Kane. Even watching this um, uh, back in the day, it made no sense to me why Kane just sort of butted into this feud. We had a good uh, Triple H and um, Goldberg feud going, and then all of a sudden on Raw, you had good old Kane come out, and he just interfered in, in a match, and now Bischoff just puts him into this main event. So I don't know if uh, they were just trying to find a place for Kane. They didn't have it, and they figured if they put him in the main event, it would keep him happy or something like that. But this is a damn good match that was evenly uh, balanced out by everybody. All three guys got the whole control of this match for a little while, and the match goes on for, I don't know, it's not the normal main event that you would think would be like a 30-minute uh, match. It's probably closer to 15, uh, I would think, but, but it was pretty good stuff. Uh, you see um, Triple H get the win. Um, this is uh, the start of his eighth title reign, of course, because it was Evolution. Uh, they, they did the cheat to win thing, but it, it works, and it actually is um, it actually is pretty good. Um, at the end of the night, you get to see Evolution walk up the ramp, and Evolution holds up all four title belts. Uh, it's the uh, scene you've seen from him everywhere. It's in every DVD. If they ever talk about Triple H or... Uh, Rick Flair, Batista, Randy Orton, it's in all four of theirs. They always show this because it is a pretty cool feat for, you know, a, um, a pretty overstable hold all the belts at one time. I always like it. Even if I don't like the stable, uh, when they're when they are ruling a show or ruling the company at one time and they have all the belts, you know, it's sort of like, uh, you know, shows that uh, they really mean business. And, you know, then you're really rooting for the other guys to uh, kick their ass and take them back. But, um Armageddon 2003, um, if you're into Evolution, if you're into Triple H, uh, this is the show to see. It's got two really good matches that's worth the price of getting this. This DVD isn't expensive. More than likely, with shipping, you can get this cheaper than $8. Maybe, maybe even closer to, I don't know, closer to 5 But definitely cheaper than $8, you can pick this up. Armageddon 2003, good selling point is that it, you can put together your 2003 set that looks pretty cool on the wall. Like I said, a lot of DVD collectors uh, like to go ahead and pick that up, but... Definitely a good show. Definitely check it out. Triple H, Batista, and then Orton and RVD is worth the money of this. Make sure you pick this up.